Hello nerds! Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your Week in Nerddom Movies Edition for the week of May 28th, 2018. This week in movies, we have a Metal Gear movie update. Yes, we do. We have X-Force update, maybe? Men in Black, bunch of other stuff's going on. Let's hit up an intro. Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Telek. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander Worf, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me and talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. Yeah. You're listening to Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Before we jump into the news, guys, let's get into the sponsor for this week. This week's sponsor is Punishshirt.com. You can go get this shirt over at Punishshirt.com. That is the only place to get this generally pun shirt. And they have a bunch of other stuff up there as well. So visit the little uh, address that's going across the bottom of your screen right now. I'm so grateful for the guys over at Punishshirt.com. They are sponsoring all of this week's episodes, so thank you guys very, very much. And now let's jump into the news. Coming out the gate swinging, we've got kinda sort of a thing from Hideo Kojima about a Metal Gear Solid movie. Yes, that is correct. A Metal Gear Solid movie. Um, ish. So... Uh, in the liner notes for a movie that jo Jordan Voight Roberts just put out, uh, Hideo Kojima wrote uh, a, a note, a thing, and in it he says that Jordan Voight Roberts may... <clears throat> Excuse me. And in it he says that Jordan Voight Roberts is the only director he can see directing the Metal Gear Solid movie. Does that mean it's still working? Does that mean it's still a possibility of a thing that we might get someday? Probably. I would imagine Hideo, uh, because uh, it's, it's going to be an issue because Konami owns the rights, but that might just be the gaming rights. Yeah, that might just be the gaming rights. Uh, perhaps Hideo owns the movie rights. I don't know. That would re be really, really awesome because if anyone knows what to do with that property, it's him. And if anyone can... can direct it in a proper way it's him because lord knows konami can't we've seen what happened with the metal gear uh uh the whatever the name of that stupid game was um but for if you if the name jordan voight roberts kind of sounds familiar it's because he may or may not be directing the new gambit movie uh, we've talked about him once or twice in the last week or two very interesting uh, i love i love me some metal gear so, if this is a forecast of things to come, then yes, please, let's do this. But that's all we got. So, we're going to kick on next to X-Force. Uh, Zazzy Beats was talking to BlackFilm.com, and she said that she doesn't really know much of what's going to happen in X-Force. Surprise, surprise. Uh, because I'm, nobody really knows what's going to happen in X-Force. Not even the people making the movie, because it's still just in pre-development. Um, but she does, she does say, um, she thinks that it will reintroduce the X-Force characters that we met in Deadpool 2, even though all of them, but kind of, sort of, one, even though I don't think he's really an X-Force member, he was just in there as a gag, uh, the, the one dude without powers, they're all dead. And <laughs> it's, it's not gonna happen. I hate, I hate to break it to you, Zazzy, but... That they're, they're, those characters are not coming back. Those characters served a purpose. It was to pay an homage to the original the first issue of X Force, where we got Zeitgeist, and then he died. He was chopped in half in the books. Uh, so that was that was what that purpose was. Uh, the Vanisher was a gag. The only one that maybe actually, well, two I guess that maybe actually were. Uh, potential for something in the Marvel Universe as a whole were the dude that played Shatterstar and Terry Crews. I, I don't know that they're going to get into all of the elements that you that are required to get to Shatterstar, and I, I really feel like the death of all of these characters is going to stick. They're going to stay dead. 
Um, I don't know. I could be wrong. Let's talk about it in the comments section, guys. Uh, what do you think? Are they actually going to bring back these X-Force characters? Or are we going to get other characters in the X-Force movie like we usually get on the actual X-Force team in the comic books? Let's talk about it again down below in the comments. Next, we have new casting announcement for the Men in Black reboot. Liam Neeson has joined the Men in Black uh, reboot as the head of the UK branch. So now we have... Uh, almost the full main roster. There's going to be uh, secondary and tertiary characters, I'm sure, but that's... I feel like we're getting really close to production, so... I uh, I don't remember if there's a, a, a set release date for this movie just yet, but I, I can't imagine if there isn't one that we won't be hearing about it soon because they're getting really close on these casting bits. But that's all we got there. Next, we are talking about Black Panther 2. Yes, there is already stuff going on for Black Panther 2. We've already talked about the director thing. This new bit is Donald Glover. Uh, Derek Comedy Dude himself, the, the, the guy who would be Spider-Man, Miles Morales Spider-Man. Yes, Donald Glover. This is America, Donald Glover. Everybody knows him for that, right? Uh, Donald Glover is in uh, what did they call it? Casual talks or something along those lines to potentially become the villain for the next Black Panther movie. Uh, there are conflicting rumors. There's also people who say that uh, Michael B. Jordan will be coming back somehow. Uh, so different sources are saying different things. Maybe this isn't a real thing, but this does open up the subject of conversation. If Donald Glover is going to be cast as a villain, what villain could he be for T'Challa? Let's talk about that down low in the comments. Next on the list is James Bond, the 25th edition. Uh, we got an official premiere date announced for the movie. It is going to be November 8th, 2019. We already know that uh, Daniel Craig is coming back, potentially, legitimately this time for his last Bond movie, but uh, I, that's, that's the, oh, it's just cool that there's a release date for it now. Now we can, now we can plot and plan and, and figure out what's going to happen in this movie and then be proven completely wrong when it finally comes out. So next on the list, we're talking about Upgrade. Now I've seen some stuff about Upgrade that isn't exactly new that we, that it's a movie. Everybody knows it's a movie. We're getting trailers for it. Matter of fact, there is a trailer link in the description. It is very NSFW, so be aware. But I dismissed it because of the name. It, I thought, it, I didn't think this legitimately, but the name is the same as the name of the pimp from, uh, uh, oh, what is it, what is it, Idiocracy is the name of the movie, uh, so I, I just completely dismissed it offhand for no other reason besides that. I watched this trailer and this seems very interesting. Why does it seem interesting? Because it's just an over-the-top shooter. Um, it kind of reminds you uh, a little bit of Clive Owen's uh, rated R over the top shooter back a few, about a decade and a half ago, um, showing my age. But uh, the movie was called Shoot 'em Up. This is something along those same lines that is uh, uh, kind of an update of, of that kind of throwaway action movie. Shoot 'em Up is a really fun movie. If you're looking for depth in your movie, you're probably not gonna get it there and that's what it looks like we're going to be getting with upgrade is there's the weird sci-fi element to it but by and large it looks like this is just an excuse to throw popcorn in your face for an hour and a half and watch a bunch of really awesomely choreographed action scenes nothing wrong with that as long as you're not trying to portray your movie as something other than that uh, so yeah I, I'm a little bit more excited about the potential movie upgrade but yeah that's all we got check out that trailer but last on the list for movies this week is another spider-man spin-off movie Sony just cannot get enough of this superhero genre and we've talked about why they they're they're trying to uh, experiment with the field they're trying to do interesting things like we're getting with the Spike Lee uh, uh, Night 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 Watch uh, movie. So this spin-off movie is 
Morbius. Morbius is an anti-hero in the Spider-Verse. Uh, he's actually a vampire. So according to that hashtag show, um, the project is in the middle of pre-production. Producers are Matt Tolmach and Avi Arad. Uh, already hiring screenwriters, they have Matt Sazama and Burke Sharpless. I don't, I couldn't find them, so I don't know what else they've written. Um, oh no, I do know what else, what else they've written. I'm full of crap. It's in my notes. Uh, they just both wrote the first season of Lost in Space on Netflix. So they've got, they've got some good ground for uh, what makes because that new that Netflix series the Lost in Space Netflix series is is really good I'm, I haven't finished it yet but it's it's pretty pretty good pretty fantastic a lot better than I thought it was going to be a lot better than I thought it was going to be um so I just I don't know I feel like this is Sony is really really digging into the Spider-Verse so that they can keep their claws on that Marvel money a little bit um this isn't a bad thing. This very well could be a very interesting movie. And they're they're really, really pushing into this superheroes as a horror kind of genre. Um, so, and, and I can't... I, I'm kind of excited about that, to be 100% honest. But that's all we got this week for movies, guys. What did I miss? What should we talk about next week? Let me know in the comments down low. If, though, you want to go deeper into the conversation, jump over to the website, generallynerdy.net. Uh, there's no links. I'm, I'm just full of crap. Uh, but generallynerdy.net is the website. You can get your nerdy swag. You can get all the stuff over on the website. Or you can support the channel over on Patreon, patreon.com slash generally nerdy. You get stuff for being a patron, not just the wonderful warm fuzzies in your heart that say, hey, I helped that guy out a little bit. Just a dollar a month over on patreon.com slash generally nerdy helps me out immensely. If you are new to the channel, click that subscribe button. If you like this episode, click the like button. If you are falling behind on your nerd news and you want to catch up, click tap that box right there to the left of my face to do that. But before we do that, before we leave and do the things and the stuff, guys, always, always remember, if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here. <laughs> <laughs>